Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today we are going to quickly revise use of various enzymes in clinical diagnosis which will be helpful for the first year MBBS students to the NEET PG aspirants as well as for the future clinical practice. So let's start. The first enzyme is the alanine transaminase that is ALT. This alanine transaminase it belongs to the category of transaminases enzyme and it is also known as the SGPT that is serum glutamate pyruvate transaminases and the sources of ALT are the liver and the normal level of ALT is the 5 to 35 unit per liter and the level of ALT gets increased in case of viral hepatitis as well as in case of alcoholic hepatitis. It is more specific marker for the liver diseases. Second enzyme is the AST that is aspartate transaminase. Aspartate transaminase also belongs to the category of transaminase enzyme and it is also known as SGOT that is serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminases and the sources of AST are liver, heart and muscle and the normal level of AST is the 5 to 40 unit per liter and its level gets increased in viral hepatitis, alcoholic hepatitis as well as in the myocardial infarction but it is more specific marker for the liver diseases as compared to the cardiac diseases and among these two that is ALT and AST, ALT is more specific as compared to the AST for liver diseases. Now third enzyme is the alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase or ALP is the non-specific enzyme which hydrolyzes the aliphatic or aromatic compound and it works at the alkaline pH that is from 9 to 10. And the sources of ALP are bone, liver, intestine and placenta and the normal level of ALP is the 30 to 115 unit per liter and the level of ALP is increased in case of obstructive jaundice. In obstructive jaundice there is obstruction to the flow of bile from liver to the intestine caused by the various causes like gallstones or carcinoma of head of pancreas or stricture in the bile duct. Its level also gets elevated in various bone diseases like rickets or Paget's disease or its level gets increased in the pregnancy or intestinal cancer. So that is the third enzyme. Fourth enzyme is the amylase. Amylase hydrolyzes the starch to the maltose and the sources of amylase are salivary glands and pancreas and the normal level of amylase is 10 to 90 unit per liter and its level gets increased in case of acute and chronic pancreatitis as well as in the parotitis and the level of amylase returns to the normal level within two to four days after the onset of acute episode so that is the amylase another enzyme which is useful for the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis is the lipase lipase will hydrolyze triacylglycerol into the beta monoglyceride and fatty acid and the sources of lipase is the pancreas and its level gets increased in case of acute pancreatitis and this lipase is more specific as compared to the amylase for the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis because its level its level doesn't increase in case of parotitis and its level remain elevated for 7 to 14 days after the onset of disease so that is about the lipase now another enzyme is the creatine kinase creatine kinase will convert creatine into the creatine phosphate after the conversion of one molecule of ATP into the ADP and this creatine kinase it has a three isoenzymes that is CKMM which is located in the muscle then CKBB which is located in the brain and the CKMB which is located in the heart and the normal level of creatine kinase is 20 to 150 unit per liter and the creatine kinase level gets elevated in case of myocardial infarction and muscular dystrophy. CKMB is more useful for the diagnosis of myocardial infarction. Then another marker, another enzyme is the lactate dehydrogenase. Lactate dehydrogenase will convert pyruvate to the lactate and it has a five isoenzymes that is LDH1, LDH2, LDH3, LDH4 and LDH5. And the sources of lactate dehydrogenase are heart, muscle, liver, lungs and RBC and the normal level of lactate dehydrogenase is 40 to 240 unit per liter and its levels get increased in case of viral hepatitis, alcoholic hepatitis, myocardial infarction and muscular dystrophy. In the normal scenario, level of LDH2 is more in blood as compared to the LDH1. LDH2 is found in more in RBCs and the LDH1 is found in the heart muscles. But in case of myocardial infarction, level of LDH1 is more in blood as compared to the LDH2. This 
pattern is known as the flip pattern and the IDH concentration of IDH is 100 times more in RBC as compared to the plasma. And so any minor amount of hemolysis will give the false positive result. So that's why nowadays IDH is not useful for the diagnosis of myocardial infarction. Then another marker is the acid phosphatase. Acid phosphatase will hydrolyze phosphoric acid ester at the acidic pH that is from 2 to 4. And the acid phosphatase sources are prostate and RBC. And the normal level of acid phosphatase is 2 to 12 units per liter. And its level gets elevated in case of prostate cancer and hemolytic states. Another enzyme is the gamma glutamyl transferase. As the name suggests, gamma glutamyl transferase will transfer gamma glutamyl residue to the substrate, and the sources of gamma glutamyl transferase is the liver. And the normal level of gamma glutamyl transferase is 10 to 50 units per liter, and its levels its level get increased in case of hepatitis, obstructive jaundice, and this gamma glutamyl transferase is very useful and sensitive marker for the detection of alcohol abuse. You have to remember this thing for the alcohol abuse, DGT is useful. And the last enzyme is the 5' nucleotidase. Sources of 5' nucleotidase is the liver and the normal level of nucleotidase is the 2 to 10 unit per liter and its level get increased in case of hepatitis and obstructive jaundice. And it is useful to know the cause of increased alkaline phosphatase. So that is all about various enzymes used in a clinical diagnosis. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.